We've got you covered. From WSIL, this is News 3 at 6. Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Julie Williams. And Kentuckians will vote for their next governor next month, and whoever wins will be in that spot for the next four years. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon joins us live in studio. He's been monitoring the race and has more. And if you've been watching television any amount of time this past few weeks, it's hard to get away from those political ads circulating on the airwaves. On Monday, two of the people responsible for those ads met on the debate stage. For the second time this election cycle, the two men vying for the top elected position in the Commonwealth of Kentucky debated on stage, trying to convince voters that their vision for Kentucky is best just three weeks away from election night. We can have a commonwealth that is about good quality schools, making sure that we stand up for our teachers, that we keep our streets safe from crime and drugs, and we get folks working again, and we eliminate Kentucky's income tax. We are on a win streak the likes of which we have never seen. Our two best years of economic development. We're number two in per capita economic development in the country, number three in creating rural jobs. We brought in a record $27.5 billion of new investment. The debate between Kentucky Governor Democrat incumbent Andy Bashir and his Republican challenger, Kentucky Commonwealth Attorney General Daniel Cameron, hit on a couple of key topics throughout the nearly one hour show. The debate started with Bashir reminding Kentuckians what they've been through and who it was that stood with them during those times. Kentucky, we've been through a lot together. A pandemic, tornadoes, flooding, windstorms, ice storms, even the polar plunge. But Cameron had a different view of where he sees Kentucky at right now and hopes voters will make the change for a new governor. I suspect that you are concerned about inflation destroying your wallet. You're concerned about the far left indoctrinating your kids in Joe Biden's war on coal. Abortion was one of the biggest topics discussed during the debate. Bashir's took the position that he supports rape and incest as exceptions to what is now Kentucky's near total abortion ban. That 15 week ban had no exceptions for rape and incest showing exactly where this candidate is on it. But Cameron responded by declaring himself as the pro-life candidate, but also said if a bill would be presented to him with exceptions in it, he would sign it. Andy Bashir wants no limits on abortion. He doesn't want to talk about this because it, he knows that it offends the majority of Kentuckians. Now the two candidates are scheduled to have two more debates before the election. The decision on who will be the next governor will be made on November 7th. We'll continue to follow the story and, of course, have full coverage on the election night. Reporting live in studio, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.